Straight Shooting LJ here on behalf of Slenky at the Slenky launch event. And I'm here with, so who are you? Judan Jude, Jude Ali, I'm an English football coach. In terms of young people, what, what initiatives or what projects are you involved with at the moment with young people, if any? Well, I, I'm uh, passionate about the future of um, what I'm doing is, is football. And uh, providing opportunities for young people is, is where, where my motivation is. Slenkies for me is um, not only something that is long overdue, I think it is pretty much going to shape up the way um, the youth of the future of England and possibly internationally as well. Do you think that big brands are doing enough to help young people at the moment or can they, can they be a lot more proactive? Well from my uh, personal experience um, running football clubs from local authority uh, inner city areas is a big big challenge there's a massive uh, gap between accessing brands uh, and, and, and actually doing something um, proactive the future of our country need, you know, needs to be able to reach out and I think Slenky fits in perfectly for that nice one um, when you were on your way to the event what were you expecting from the event before before you got here, I wasn't really expecting what I saw now. Now what I what I've seen from the presentation and how Cess has put, brought this together with with the team and yourselves, it's just you know it's just hit home that you know we're it, we're here now. We're all together. Doesn't matter what background we are from, um, what uh, industry we're from. There's something for every single demographic in this country to to home in on when it comes to slankers. You've spoken about accessibility among other things. Um, what exactly, what specific things do you think brands can do to help open doors for young people? Well, they need to be more proactive. Brands will need to proactively attend uh, functions, launches, not just like this itself, but actually get their staff, their employees, their marketing. All you hear is the sales here, the sales here, the sales there on television. Kids don't switch on when it, when it comes to that, you know, and adverts on telly, do we really retain that information? No, mm. they need to be on the ground. They need to be in there where the action's happening. They need to send their representatives out. It's exactly the same with football clubs. Their scouts need to be more proactive, more, you know, more in the local communities. Mm. You know, that's what's lacking and they need to start doing that. What has stood out for you most about this event so so far? Um, has any, has anything really jumped out and really grabbed you and been like, yeah, I I I like that. I resonate with that. In the last three four hundred years, something that hasn't been achieved has, has been achieved through um, media. So that's what's hit home to me now. I wouldn't be here if I didn't have an enthusiasm about trying to build for the future as well. In the future. Um, of our country and of humanity is, is, is youth. What are you going to be doing specifically in the future to be helping young people of the 13 to 24 age bracket? What I want to do is obviously get closer to Slinkies to see if there's a way we can start getting academies of youngsters yeah. set up in local inner city areas. And we're talking about football now um, and it could probably be a spin-off from football to music to yeah. other sports or recreational activities where these youngsters have got goals and can use Slinkers as a way in and, and that would be perfect marry and match uh, to what I would love, love to do going forward. Nice one. Yeah.